Every job, no matter how commonplace, has its own unique set of adventures. In this five-part series brought to you by Isuzu, we delve into the professional lives of five women from this automobile giant. Come again with us as Drum Magazine unveils the lives of people who work some of the more overlooked jobs in South Africa. I oversee two important streams that anchor the brand in society, okay. um, and so especially in South Africa. And it's ensuring that our brand strategy and our sponsorship properties communicate and speak to key pillars um, of Isuzu as a company. And they communicate what our audiences expect yeah. and what they love most about the brand. And um, what would you say is the most difficult aspect of that role for you? The most difficult one is balancing the brand. Right. It's such a diverse brand. South Africa is so diverse and, and obviously speaking to how diverse South Africa is, you can expect how our customers are diverse and the brand is expected to balance all the various needs of our customers and communicate the various nuances and heritage um, mm -hmm. of each customer audience. And also the history. I mean, you've got older audiences that have loved the brand since we're growing up. They've grown up with the brand. And we've got new audiences who are now coming into the brand and they're looking for excited and fresh, something that speaks to, you know, um, you know, hip and happening type of society. So it's about how do we balance it to speak to and fit into and meet each customer's needs. Okay. That's a tailor made that's a experience, task. yeah. Yeah. And what is it that drew you into working in the automotive industry? What is it that pulled you towards this field? Well, I mean, I'm from Kabecha. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Eastern Cape is a hub of automotive. I yeah. mean, if you've been there, mm. you'll see the number of automotive brands that exist um, in, in, the, in the city alone, as yeah. well as the province, from automotive suppliers um, and um, the brands. So growing up in um, a, a, a township called New Brighton, um, in an area, uh, part of New Brighton called Fordville, mm -hmm. but also um, at the time GM, which is now Isuzu, was down the road as well. Ah. So growing up there, playing in those townships and um, seeing the people coming from work and going to work and a lot of also the, the, the technical engineering um, schools are in that, in that area as well. Mm -hmm. And as far as your experiences here at Isuzu Motors, could you tell me um, what you'd say some of the most impactful marketing campaigns that you've led or been a part of were and why does it those stick out to you? Yeah, one impactful, I mean, this is something I had to think about because like, geez, what was it? And mm. then it just popped in my mind yeah. without, you know, hesitation. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the She Is campaign, All which right. was a branch out of She Is Driven that we ran with Art of Superwoman. And the Art of Superwoman team came with the campaign of She's Driven, but Hello. we said, okay, how can we um, extend this further than just this campaign? And then we branched out to do even a magazine, which was featuring women, all the women in the partners we have within sponsorships, as well as branded as a company, and as well as our customers. So one amazing feature was uh, featuring the, the woman tow truck um, drive, um, Tow truck owner, mm, so true. she was a fantastic woman who owned uh, a fleet of tow trucks, mm. and that's also very much dominated um, industry. Mm. So the fact that the campaign was she is driven, it meant that you are not allowing society to hold you back, and you will be driven in your space where you sit. Um, there's also the woman who featured from Kabecha who owned a line of hair um, hair care products, mm -hmm. and she had a factory um, in Kabecha where she manufactured hair care products, and that was also kind of just like a trailblazer type of moment, saying that you manufacturing this within you know the city yeah. and then within the she is driven campaign with artist boom and they also covered women in different um, spaces as well and they did very um, you know extreme type of activities just to say you know nothing just to in to show that nothing really holds us back as women yeah. um, if you want to conquer something we will and that was yeah a very impactful campaign that I like I that's really quite enjoyed. a witty bit of copy I mean she's driven mm. how involved were you in the formulation of that initial idea um, I wasn't as involved, but mm -hmm. how it extended, I was very involved. Oh, so even we, we even took it further to advertising. So wow. that whole month, we only ad, um, um, say, um, advertised with females in the adverts, wow. from digital to print to everything. So it was and all encompassing, and as far as women empowerment. Yeah. Wow. And that's obviously something that's near and dear to your heart. I can tell by just mm. speaking to you. <laughs> all right. I wanted to circle back around rather to um, 
empowerments in this industry? What did what would you say are some of the the steps that have um, affirmed or cemented transformation in this industry? What, what have you seen, especially at Isuzu, that is um, contributing towards there being more talented and gifted black women in a space such as this? I think Isuzu took a very um, a very risky but mm -hmm. also a bold step yeah. towards what their goal was. Right. And a lot in the industry, you know, people always speak about transformation and they sing from the top of the roof about transformation, but they don't actually, you know, implement it internally. Or just live service. Right? Um, yeah. And even from supplier base mm -hmm. down to employees, mm -hmm. down to our partners. Isuzu has taken those bold steps to say we are not just going to be lip servicing it. Mm. We're not just going to talk about it, but not act and action it. And that was probably the start with um, our CEO who came in, um, Billy Tom. Mm -hmm. And then from then on, it was just a knock-on effect to say mm. if we're going to say it, we best do it. You know, um, if we're going to speak to it, we best walk the talk. You know, nice. and just also everything that I mean, Isuzu has always done to um, support and grow. Um, talent in general. Mm. Um, I started as a graduate, mm. uh, a, a graduate in training, yeah. and look who I am now. So it's only testament to how the company is invested to grow the, its people. Yeah. But it's also about you also taking on your growth as, as yourself, as your own, and not expecting the company, as some people will say, to grow you. Absolutely. So there's a lot of opportunities people have in networking internally, and it's not about just sitting back and thinking that executive is going to come talk to you, but also you find the opportunity to go talk to that executive because there's meetings, there's social gatherings, yeah. and mm -hmm. it's about you also showing yourself. And I'm sure a whole string of um, soft skills or things you learned on the job that are now, you know, a part of your arsenal professionally Definitely. speaking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the graduate program benefited me that in, in, immensely. Mm. Um, one course that I always ask about with every new graduate uh, program that mm. starts up or new interns or employees is are they going to learn emotional intelligence? Yeah. Because that was an eye opener for me. And in, um, like not a not a difficult. I mean, it's a rather difficult stream of intellect to, to grasp. You know? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And and that absolutely opened my eyes to realize that sometimes you're victims of emotional um, hijacking, and you need to be aware of that. You need to be aware of yourself. You need to be aware of where you are as a person that specific day. Yeah. And also just have to conduct yourself. And you you only just be a powerhouse once you're aware of self. Absolutely. Wow. And um, just in closing, rather um, personally speaking now, in the next maybe five to ten year span, where do you see yourself, ma'am? What do you see happening in your career? Are you still going to be the Suzu? I assume so, you look cozy here. <laughs> yeah? um, but what do you see on the cards or in the stars for yourself? Yeah. Um... I used to be such a five-year, ten-year plan person. What happened? Um, my boss saw better lights for me okay. than I ever envisioned for myself. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> um, and that kind of forced me to say, okay, you know what? You, sometimes you've got to wing it and sometimes you've got to trust the process. Mm. Uh, sometimes you get dropped in the deep ocean and you're like, well, what the hell am I doing here? I mean, I can't even swim, but you learn so much about yourself that you never expected you would learn or even you was within you. Nothing like a baptism of fire, yeah? Mm. Mm. So uh, where I'm at now, I mean, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm in a pretty good place with my career. It's um, good to hear. And... My hopes is to further the digital um, uh, direction, um, digital business, digital marketing, digital um, everything, because mm. that's where the business is going. Um, it's just identifying solutions that will support the, the company better, but also solutions that will also position um, Isuzu South Africa, you know, with uh, against its competitors or even its partners across mm. the world. Oh, well said. Thank you so much for your time. I'm sure you have any lavish things to that jacket would suggest that today is about to be a lavish day i'm not certain but um <laughs> well thank i had you coffee so, so yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's always a good start but thank you so much for your time much thank appreciated you. Yeah. Thank you.